Welcome to WTF is Web3, where we untangle the uncertainties of Web3 technologies. Be sure to check out the show notes for more information, giveaways, and ways to stay in touch. You're also going to want to make sure that you're subscribed to our podcast, our YouTube channel, and our private group so you don't miss out on exclusive content, freebies, and much more. This is what we call a solo sode, and this is basically going to happen in an instance where one of us has an idea, a thought, a concept, or some information that we feel needs to get out to you guys as soon as possible, and we don't feel like aligning our schedules, setting up cameras and lighting and all that other jazz and headache. We just want to shoot from the hip, express, deliver ideas and concepts and information from our brains to your ears, so please forgive the sacrifices that we've made in skipping some of the production polish. It's a little rough around the edges, but it's for the sake of expediency, and we just don't want you to judge us too harsh if this is one of the first episodes you've heard. Normally, it's a lot more clean, crisp, and well-produced, but again, we're trying to get it out to you as soon as possible. So with that being said, let's jump into the episode. What is going on? Thank you for tuning in. I've got a special episode. Unfortunately, John isn't able to join me for this one, but we do have some exciting interviews and some other episodes that are either in a editing process or scheduled. So definitely make sure you're subscribed, have those alerts on for that. You're also going to want to make sure you have the uh, subscription going and the alerts on not only here, but on all of our social media platforms, the podcast, YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, especially the Discord, because there is a Hack Our Wallet contest going on right now. We're probably going to be doing more of these and other contests and give ways in the future. And this one I will explain briefly and I will actually be giving you today's clue later on in the episode. Hopefully I remember to do it before cut because then I got to do an awkward editing and splice it in. In any case, the way it works is we drop a seed phrase clue each day on a different social media platform. That clue gives you a seed phrase. The seed phrases in that order will unlock a MetaMask wallet filled with NFTs. Nice, right? NFTs, wearables, uh, maybe you're going to throw some crypto in there. We've got some other ideas for prizes in the future. Probably going to do another one of these because I think it's a lot of fun. But most importantly, you got to follow us everywhere. In this episode, I am going to be walking through a little bit about the NFT project done by Nifties, which is the Matrix project. If you're not familiar with it, definitely check it out. I'm not going to do it justice. I am a big fan of this project. I could go on and on about this project. But this one, this episode is going to specifically focus on, or at least try to, focus on Mission 2 which just dropped yesterday, and it's going to be going on for, uh, I think, a few months. So you definitely want to get, get caught up, stay informed. If you've already got one of these NFTs, great. If not, almost better news because they're currently selling right now in the secondary market for less than what the mint price was, and I'll talk more about that later. But specifically, we are going to be discussing the Mission 2. And to recap really quickly, this is the Matrix, as in the movie uh, series, I should say. This is a licensed project, officially licensed by Warner Brothers, Warner Brothers with Nifties. And they've made a bunch of avatars that look like Matrix residents and resistance fighters, but you don't reveal whether or not they are a resistance fighter. Or actually, you choose to take either the red pill or the blue pill, and that was mission number one. And that will reveal the attributes that they have as a red pill resistance fighter, or it will lock in the attributes that they had as a base model it gives them a different screen. And actually, let's switch over and I'll show you that background. I should say background, not screen. And this is actually my wallet. Uh, these are some unpilled avatars here up at the top. These are these two right here with the hats. They are pilled. These are blue pilled. So as you can see, they look very similar. Still wearing like civilian clothing. But if we want to check out some Matrix red pilled people, I will uh, jump over and show you that. But basically, this is how they start off. They do have some rare attributes, so it would behoove you in some instances to lock them in. Like this one right here, purple hat. Again, mission number one, which is back in January. The mint was in November. So mission number one was locking in red or blue. As you can see, some of these, these who haven't been pilled yet, they can still be pilled, and I can still decide whether or not I want to red pill them and kind of roll the dice and get some potentially different attributes or lock in these blue attributes. Let me actually just show you what the red pilled Matrix avatars look like. So these people started off looking like the ones you just saw on the previous screen, but as you can see, they look way more badass. They've got you know all sorts of leather. They've got weapons, their attributes get a lot more aggressive because again, these are resistance fighters who you've red pilled, you've taken them out of the matrix and they have their own set of rare attributes. Now going back to this uh, purple hat, that is one of the highly coveted rare attributes. So it wasn't even a thought in my mind. I decided to blue pill this lady right here to lock in that purple hat because purple hat's kind of like an inside thing with NFTs. You either know about it or you don't. If you don't look it up, but it's like in crypto punks, it's even, the, it's, it's everywhere. Purple hats are everywhere. It's, a, it's an inside thing. So the other thing I want to draw your attention to is this glitch, this GIF, and I pronounce it GIF. I know some people pronounce it GIF, and this GIF is uh, specifically a glitch in the matrix. This is what we're calling, what Nifties is calling an artifact. These artifacts are NFTs, but they're specifically meant to be burnt, and when you burn them, you are able to add XP to selected character. So now we're getting into what Mission 2 is, because that's exactly what Mission 2 is. In Mission 2, we are going to take our GIFs, our, uh, our glitches, our you know glitch in the matrix, G-I-T-M, or glitches is what we call them for short. We're gonna take these artifacts, we're going to burn them. Each time we burn them, we will gain 100 XP and it will be applied to a specific character. Now we could apply all of them to one character or we could apply 100 here, 100 there, and 100 there. And what that is doing is even if you have a character that who doesn't have a lot of rare attributes and they don't have a lot of value based on the attributes, you can actually increase their value 
based on how much XP you apply to them. And within the missions, there's also going to be leaderboards. Based on your ranking, how much XP you're able to acquire during that, that mission threshold, there will be a reward period at the end of the mission. And here's the thing, you can participate in the missions whenever, but there will be a certain amount of time where you can participate and be rewarded. So for example, in this round for mission two, the rewards are going to have four different levels, it's split between the two paths. So if you take red pill, you take blue pill, they have the same, the same amount of placings. So it's not like red pill and blue pill, people are directly competing with each other in this instance, but the top 25 XP in the red pill, the top 25 XP in the blue pill are going to receive like that top level, level A, I believe they're calling it, and it goes A, B, C, D. So four levels, top 25 in each will receive everything. And by everything, some of these things are going to be, you know, level D, C, and B, but again, A is gonna get everything. By everything, I mean, glitch a uh, matrix uh, branded hoodie a uh, physical card it's going to look like a kind of a baseball card but it's going to be with your nft they are also going to be doing 50 rare nfts 25 and 25 going to be going to those top spots only uh, there's also going to be my favorite is going to be a physical screen that will have your avatar the one you won the competition with or, or placed in the competition with that you can hang on the wall put on your desk and show off your nft irl that's in real life for you noobs so the way we're going to climb those leaderboards again is by burning these glitches. But how are we going to get these glitches? Well, one of two ways. Actually, there's a myriad of different ways, but it boils down to one of two ways. Basically, you can earn them by participating in contests, and there's at least weekly contests. Every week uh, we go live in, by, by we, I mean Nifties. I'm nowhere, no way affiliated with Nifties aside from being involved in this project and being a huge, being, being involved as in I, I own some avatars, not being paid by them, even this video isn't sponsored by them. So when I say we, just because, you know, I feel like we're part of the family. Great Discord, by the way. Lots of fun stuff going on in there. That's another place where you'd be able to win some of these uh, glitches and, again, go on to burn them. And then you can also buy them in the secondary market. Right now, they're going for $8.80. Yesterday, they were going for over 9 bucks. Just a couple of days ago, they were three bucks. I think I've seen them go down as low as like below two. Now that we know what the purpose of the glitches are, is we are seeing a bit more of a spike because now people want to place on that leaderboard. And if they haven't been winning these trivia and little participation competitions that we've been doing both in the Twitter space and on Discord and also on their other social media accounts, sometimes it'll be, you know, a matrix related question on Instagram. And the first 25 people to respond with the right answer or to DM them the right answer will win a glitch or something. And I've won a few that way. I've also uh, won in the trivia uh, going live on the... Uh, Twitter space, but I will also yesterday there was actually one seven questions I think the top 20 people who answered on Twitter the fastest with the correct answer one and a lot of them were all actually multiple choices I don't know I can't remember if any weren't but I know there definitely were some multiple choices So it made it even easier even if you're not familiar with the matrix There's four uh, answers, you know, you got a one in four chance of winning But winning doesn't do you any good unless you have an avatar I guess you could just sell the glitches on the secondary market and make some money So in any case, I would check out the discord check out nifties.com check out the project check out their Twitter and their Instagram But all the information is going to be on the website getting into the actual process I'm gonna walk you through actually burning one of these bad boys. I'm gonna click on the matrix and that will bring me now to the new burning page. Now, here's another thing that we also learned. And there's, there's a lot more. I'm, I'm trying to give you the, uh, the high-level view of this. As you can see, I've got 200 XP because I've burned two glitches so far. There are going to be additional artifacts in future missions. So I say that because down here, you will see... Where is it? Maybe it's still loading. Uh, you'll see that it looks like there's spaces for additional glitches. Oh, I think it's on the next page. So what I'd be doing first is I'm going to select which of my avatars. And as you can see, I could flip through... And I, can, I can't use these unpilled avatars. So that's one thing I'm also going to show you is this gentleman right here, he's got a blue phone. That's another one of those rare attributes. So I haven't pilled him yet. Probably am going to pill him. If you want to sell him, if you want to buy him, they are for sale. Um, but I'm probably going to end up pilling them. I, I don't know. I, we're supposed to be pilling them all. But I don't know if I want to do that yet. So in any case, I have to pill him mission one in order to have them participate in mission two. So as you can see right here, mission one is still active. And I don't believe, I don't know what would happen if I clicked on that. Maybe we could check that later. Actually, check it right now. All right, so it looks like I could apply, but you know what? He wouldn't. I don't think he could show up on either one of the leaderboards because he's not red or blue pilled, and that's one of the things that they that they require. So let's just play it safe. I want to pill this lady. I'm not selling her. She ain't going nowhere. I like that purple hat exactly where it is in my wallet. So we are going to go. As you can see, I don't have the option. I've completed mission uh, one over here, so I only have the option for mission two. We're going to hit start. And as I mentioned before, it looks like there's room for additional artifacts, and they have confirmed that there will be additional artifacts. One of the questions that I saw going back and forth in the group was whether or not these artifacts are going to expire when this mission ends. I'm going to say that, I'm going to guess that since there's, it looks like there's space for additional artifacts, I'm going to guess that we could stack these artifacts if we chose to. However, I'm going to imagine that it's going to get more competitive in later rounds because more and more people are going to be joining and trying to get these uh, glitches to compete. So in any case, I'm going to select to burn one. And as you can see, I could drop down. I've got a total of 11, so I could burn all of them, but... I don't have any rush, you know, I'm just doing a demo video, might mess up the video and have to re-record it, so I'm just going to burn one to be safe. I already, you know, messed up the last video, so as you can see, it was a good thing I didn't burn them all. So now, with this button, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it on your screen, but if you click on it, it doesn't do anything, you got to click and hold. It says, hold to burn, and I don't think you guys see my mouse when I record this way, so trust me, there's a mouse on there. Uh, you might be able to see it kind of load up, the bar kind of loads over, changes color, now it says it's capturing my XP, and as you 
hopefully remember, because it was just a little while ago, I had 200 XP when we started this, and 11 glitches. Now I'm completed, got another plus 100 XP, and now I've got 300 XP, and now I'm down to 10 glitches. So if that leaderboard is looking pretty competitive, I better make sure I tune in to not only the weekly space section. Is it space or spaces? Twitter spaces or Twitter space? I, sometimes it's weird to pluralize it. Other times it's weird in singular form. In any case, tune in, get the trivia right, and I'll be able to win some more of these. I invite you to do so as well. And then also I've got to pay attention to that Discord because uh, they are giving this stuff away left, or, left and right. It's a very active community, so it's a lot of fun, very engaging, very helpful. A lot of people are very informed and they are happy to bring you up to speed. I think this is a great project, and I will talk a little bit about why I think it's such a great project. Try not to get into too much detail, but number one, if you're new especially, this was my first minting project. And what I like about this is this is on the Palm Network, which is different than the Ethereum. A lot of times you hear about the gas fees. Ethereum is very expensive. It's a different... Uh, proofing method. There's uh, proof of authority, proof of staking, uh, proof of work. There's a, a few different methods of proofing depending on the, the different chain that you're on. On Palm, it's proof of authority. And there's pros and cons to both. But what I like about it is there's like no gas fee. When you go to buy something, and what's cool about this is I bought this with a credit card. I didn't really know how to set up and transfer. And I, I did know, but I, I didn't want to mess that up. And it was such a rush. This had 100,000 units, 100,000 NFTs that were minted, and it sold out the first day. So it's a big brand. That's one of the other reasons I like it. Amazing IP. Amazing brand recognition. This is a licensed Warner Brothers uh, project. Mark Cuban has invested in Nifties. So you got a lot of smart people with a lot of momentum and a lot of resources behind this. The stuff that they're doing is very innovative. The way that you're able to increase the value of a low value NFT is pretty cool and unique. And I don't know any other products that allow you or enable you to do that. Plus we've got, you know, the potential of maybe these characters are going to be characters in a metaverse that's going to be coming out. What better brand to do a metaverse than the Matrix? I mean, it is the most successful movie franchise that is completely based on a metaverse. So this kind of makes sense. The players, the uh, avatars that you see were actually designed by Real Engine 5, which is also the company designing the Matrix game. So I don't think it would be too far-fetched to think that that game is going to evolve into a metaverse and these characters are going to somehow have involvement in it. Uh, the other thing I like about it is we've got the revamp of the movie series. We had the uh, last Matrix just come out, the way it ended. Spoiler alerts, plug your ears, earmuffs. Looks like there's going to be some more Matrix movies coming out. I think they're going to be incorporating different characters, probably having Keanu hand the hat over, so to speak. We've got Trinity flying around, showing that Anybody can be the one. Anybody can get to that level now. There's not just one the one. And that makes me think that maybe in this game that we're playing with these avatars, we could eventually gain enough XP to make our character the one status. And there could be multiple. There might not just be one, but then there might be some other kind of reward, either in the game or just within the NFT, aside from having the value of having uh, the one. I hate calling it the one because in any case, we're getting a singularity and plural, uh, singularity, singular and, and plural uh, debate. I'm going to skip it. So yeah, those, I've got other reasons that I love this project. You know, it's, it's a brand that's been around for over 20 years. Not a lot of NFT projects can say that. They're, they've already delivered on so much. Uh, tons of innovation in the roadmap. This is something that the game that they've already planned out, they've got years planned. And then the players, the holders, are actually also going to be able to start taking over and taking control of it. So this will be, they've even said, like, this is going to be in the owner's hands. So, you know, we've got a roadmap. We, we gave you a runway, but it's going to be on us as we uh, evolve. The um, other uh, thing that I did want to mention, I just remembered, is the wallet contest. Okay. So as I mentioned before, dropping clues, those clues give you a seed phrase in that order. It will, uh, will unlock a MetaMask wallet. It's going to be on different social media platforms every day. Happens to be here today. Might be TikTok, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, what else have we got? We got some other stuff. I forget. TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, podcast. But at the end of the day, they all end up on our Discord. So two ways to think about this. Definitely want to follow everywhere. The best way to do it would be to follow everywhere. Have those alerts on. The lazy person, some would call it efficient, could just follow us on Discord. No problem with that. But here's the problem. Those clues don't end up on Discord until the end of the day. That means if someone was following us on all the social media platforms, as I just suggested, suggested and they had those alerts on, they're going to get that clue before you. They're going to solve that clue before you. They're going to get to that wallet before you. And they might clean out all those NFTs. I would. You know, they don't know you. They don't know who's coming up behind them. Why are they going to leave any NFTs in there? It doesn't make any sense. So... If you really want your best chance of winning, you wouldn't be the lazy guy just joining our Discord. Although I do suggest you join our Discord because then you're like the, the favorite children of the group. And that's where we can sometimes give some hints. Maybe you get a heads up as to where the next clue is going to be so you know where and when to tune in. Maybe. I don't know. We can play favorites. A little bit of nepotism. Never hurt. It eh, eh, probably has hurt. But in any case, I suggest you join everywhere. If you don't join anywhere else, at least join the Discord because we've also got some other exciting stuff going on. We are starting to lay the foundation of a community project. We've mentioned this in other episodes and we want it to be in the, the, the theme of, in the spirit of Web3, we want to be decentralized from its inception, from its genesis. So even the initial ideas as to what the initial project is going to be is something that is up for debate, suggestions, critiques, and votes. So, so far we've got our first official proposal. We are acting like a DAO and we will, whatever we do, we have strong intentions to make it a DAO because it's going to reinforce that decentralization and the voting principles and making proposals. And I love DAOs. I'm involved in some DAOs and I'm having a blast and I really like it. So in any case, the first proposal is to start a project 
that is going to, and you'll probably hear us mention this uh, actually in a recent episode is we came up with it live. John and I were just talking, we addressed the problem and just by going back and forth by the end of the episode, we're like, oh, we got a solution. Let's do that. Boom, turned it into a proposal, put it up on our Discord and now you can go in there and vote on it. But the idea is going to be to create a project that will start off by doing an airdrop to projects, NFT projects specifically, that have either suffered a rug pull or they're just hitting a, a flat area. Maybe they've dropped down. Maybe they're their secondary floor price is way below the mint price. And we are going to be recognizing the holders, the people who are being patient and resilient and understanding in those projects, because we believe that community is at least as important as the team and the project in the roadmap. So we are going to start by attracting people who would be good for our community, wherever we decide to take this project, whatever we want to turn it into. It might be a, a REIT buying up real estate in Decentraland and Sandbox and you know, all the other metaverses. We might turn into an NFT project. We might turn into who knows what, but first we want to start with that community. From there, I'd love to farm ideas, critiques, and kind of shape it as a group and really be an idea meritocracy where you get the best ideas, you get everybody to have their say from someone who owns one NFT to someone who owns you know, you know, half of the DAO. Everyone has an equal opportunity to submit a proposal, have everybody give their pros and cons, critiques, feedback, suggestions, and that way we'd be able to formulate the best ideas. And what else is cool about that? We get a good solid community. We can also start learning what kind of skills and backgrounds and networks we have in that community. We might have some people who have inherent advantages because of the line of work or the experiences they have. And they're like, hey, I've got an idea. Here's a sector that I'm in. Here's a need that I see that's not being addressed or not being done the right way. Here's a proposal. And it'll be something that I've never even thought of. An industry I, I don't even know. So how would I know that problem? How would I be able to make that suggestion? It would come from maybe someone like you. So if, and at, at the very least, we're not looking to moon Lambo. We're not promising that this is going to a thousand X. That would be great. But our initial intention is to do it the right way. Start with the community, keep you involved, help you become informed and stay informed. We want to teach you about the process as we go through. I've been going through and learning coding and DAOs and how to make NFTs and all this other jazz. I want to share that with you guys, kind of boil it down to the essence of it so you can understand it. If it's something that you also want to learn to do, I can point you in the right directions. I can answer questions. I can help teach you myself and John. John's a very intelligent guy. And uh, he's also very experienced in finance and law. He's a, a lawyer. He is, uh, he's got a series, or he had a series 63, series six, and series 24. So that if you're familiar with what those are, you know, it's a big deal. That basically means that not only can he be a stock broker, he actually opened up his own brokerage firm. So that takes a lot of studying, a lot of intelligence. And that is, uh, that's my main man, John. So we've got some good brains to start off with, but we also have enough humility to understand that we're not going to be the smartest people in the room. We don't want to be the smartest people in the room and we want to build that community. So again, our first idea, a proposal now for you to vote is to do airdrops, make some NFTs, attract some other community members, reward them for being patient in those projects, or maybe make them feel better about getting the rug pulled and attract them in to build a better community. From there, we're going to do additional proposals. We could be, it could be anything from, we have a short list of some projects that we want to initially uh, approach with airdrops and attract those uh, holders in, but then we could be doing proposals for what other projects that maybe you're involved in and you think they deserve, those holders deserve an airdrop, um, some other projects that are out there that maybe you're aware of that, any, any other projects that you think we should approach, and then also starting to form the direction of how we're going to do things. And we're gonna start on Discord before we have the DAO officially set up. I kinda wanna have some of the foundation laid before we start getting into the harder coding of building out the DAO and the NFTs and everything else like that. I wanna get ideas to really what the community wants to do instead of kinda plotting a road this way and then get some people on board and have some go, actually, we kinda wanna go this way. It's like, oh, let me scrap that. and change it or say, oh, too bad, we'll catch it on the next one. No, I want you guys to be involved from the beginning. John and I both do. So with that, I will wrap this up. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, oh, the clue. So the clue, this is a uh, clue number 10. Clue number 10. I don't really like this one because I can't be, I don't have a lot of uh, good clues for this. So it'll be pretty easy. And this episode is longer than I anticipated it. So this, as a consolation for being so long, here you go. Uh, it rhymes with hollow. There you go. That's, that's the clue. Now, if you missed out on the other nine clues that came before this. You can find them on TikTok and Instagram, Twitter, and maybe everywhere else. But the easiest place to look right now would be in that Discord. And uh, join the conversation. Give us some suggestions. Give us some critiques. Give us a vote. Yes, no, whatever. You could abstain. Just whatever. Let's see some involvement. There are going to be free NFTs and giveaways and all sorts of other stuff, but that shouldn't be why you're joining us. You're joining us because you want to learn. You want to be a part of the process. Um, again, we're not going to promise that this is going to do a thousand X and Moon Lambo and all that other bullshit. Uh, we might not even get money involved if the DAO decides, no, we just want to make this an educational thing where I would be creating content to kind of, I'll, I'm really good at looking at three hours worth of material or reading a book and then condensing it and making it so that it's like just the cliff notes, the bullets and the most actionable pieces of information in that. So if that's what you guys are more interested in and you don't care about that other stuff, that's cool. Join the discord, let us know. And that'll be the focus of our, uh, our project here. Thank you so much for tuning in. Subscribe, uh, check out the links in the show notes. That's how you can get to our other social media assets. You can sign up for giveaways and contests and there might be some kind of contest that's going on right now, but not going on at the time of this recording. We're probably going to update those notes or have information on it in the discord. So check all that jazz out. Uh, but we're everywhere, everywhere, but Facebook. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, podcast. Rock on, have fun, be safe, never invest more than you can afford to lose, and uh, you know, do your research, do more research than is necessary.
Thank you so much for tuning in. I want to make sure you don't forget to check out the information and the links in the show notes. Some of that stuff is going to get you into freebies and raffles and contests and all sorts of other promotions, but also we've got a private group dedicated to our listeners and our followers. We would love to see you there, love to see you collaborate, join, and get exclusive content that we are only distributing through these other means. Speaking of distributing through other means, I want to make sure that you're also subscribed to our podcast, our YouTube channel, and again, join that private group so you know everything that we know as soon as we know it.